Dragon Ball Super episode 129 is a weird episode for me to really talk about, mainly just because there's things that happen in the episode that I really liked, but then of course, like everything, there's stuff that I, <clears throat> you know, thought could have been better, so the only real bad part is that things kind of feel slow in the beginning, like they just kind of, they, they kind of just retread old water. Uh, I forget what the saying is, but, you know, they kind of did similar things like they did back when Goku first went Ultra Instinct in the first time. And back in the Kefla fight, the Kefla versus Ultra Instinct fight, um, it, was, it was weird and it felt slow. It felt slow because literally the fight starts with Jiren and Goku and Goku isn't isn't able to land a punch whatsoever and even if he does they don't really do a whole lot because he's his mind is still in a state of where his it's, it's, his body is not moving on its own he's you know doing his own punches but he's still dodging by himself right so it's kind of weird I don't, I don't really know how to explain it I'm terrible at explaining stuff anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, like I said it's, this episode's hard to really talk about so there's a lot of stuff that was that's similar to what we've seen already before over the past like couple months and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of banked up and reused animation that you know you have your own opinions about it. Sometimes you know it makes sense. Sometimes it's like when they reuse animation, it's just kind of like eh, that's kind of just really lazy. But and, and the state that we're at when Super is about to end, it's ending in just a couple of weeks. Also, there's no episode of Super next week, so uh, be on the lookout for that. So, you know, the episode starts off pretty good. There's a lot of explosions and craziness going on, but a lot of kind of reuse, reuse kind of stuff that wasn't, in, in my opinion, isn't really all that great. There's a shot that's been memed all to death with just kind of lazy animation that could have been better. They reused the uh, Kamehameha kind of against Kefla and you know there's that and so the episode kind of just continues on from there. Goku's getting pushed back. Uh, Jiren's doing his thing. Jiren's just being Jiren and there's a lot of shot reverse shots of everyone in the crowd and the actual fight itself and Belmond isn't being particularly impressed. I'm trying not to look at my phone because I have notifications I actually need to get to in a little bit. But, you know, there's a lot of shot reverse shots of the fight going on and people talking to each other. So Vegeta is making references to, like, oh, the Saiyans, you know, they get to the, their limits, but they've been able to surpass them in Belmond of Vermouth. It's talking about how he's not impressed and that, you know, with the incomplete Ultra Instinct, Goku has no chance. And Vegeta's like, oh, so there is something that Goku can do to become stronger, stronger, quote unquote. So, yes, essentially a new transformation of Ultra Instinct. And they're saying they're saying that it's rubbish. Stuff happens. Goku's being pushed back into a, you know, kind of like a cornered state of I'm fast forwarding a little bit because a lot of it is just more action, more dialogue that may or may not have been needed a lot of you know the universe 7 fighters who have been eliminated so far are talking about how he's being pushed back and it doesn't seem like things are going all too correctly Beerus is just sitting there I, I forget the last time that Jiren has actually kind of spoken in the episode it's been a while since, since he's actually said anything Whis actually makes a remark uh, over halfway towards the, uh, towards, uh, the episode uh, saying that he is becoming stronger his body is starting to move on its own and his body is starting to move on its own he's focusing more on the fight itself and anything else that has been on his mind is almost completely erasing itself and the heat that is emitting from Goku is actually becoming significantly more intense than Goku's being pushed back in a corner he's on a rock it's towards uh, the bottom edge of the arena and Jiren is throwing punches even though the animation doesn't really show us anything is really happening so Goku's on the defensive, rapid punches are being thrown from Jiren to Goku, Goku can't really do anything. 
Barrett finally just says, shut up and watch. And uh, I think that's what a lot of us felt like was needed to happen or something someone needed to say. And finally, Goku goes on the offensive. Jiren gets pushed back with a hard punch to the, to the chest. It looked really cool. Um, he builds up a big red key ball uh, attack, and then he throws it at Goku. And Goku, uh, his hair goes silver. It goes kind of white silver-ish. And then uh, he teleports right behind Jiren with the blast because it, it just dissipates. It disappears. Then there's another shot where Goku is emitted in like in like a silver aura and silver hair. It looks really cool. I'll probably throw a screenshot. Probably not. I'll probably forget to be honest. But it looks really cool. You have to watch the episode for yourself. Um, he has the ball in his hand. I think he uh, extinguishes it. I don't think he like throws it back towards Jiren or anything, but it looked really cool. That shot looked really cool. So uh, Jiren goes for an attack towards Goku. And in this current state of mind, Goku right now is currently in mastered ultra instincts because he's got the silver hair. He's got like a silverish kind of aura. Go uh, Goku dodges it. And then Jiren's getting like punched all around his body insinuating that Goku is so fast that it just, <laughs> uh, Goku just throws a whole bunch of punches so fast we can't even see it. His body is moving on its own from dodging to actually going on an in, uh, to an offense and defensive. It looks really cool, and he actually throws the ball of energy like away towards you know some rubble, kind of like how <clears throat> voice cracks, um, kind of like how they always do in that in that sense. So Goku dodges more attacks from Jiren because he dodges towards him, and then he just bodies this, this guy Jiren and then he just gets blown back um, they're kind of like on the totem thing that, that was in the middle of the stage uh, Goku's there he's looking down at towards Jiren Jiren's been pushed back onto the ground and then Beerus is like Whis did he reach that state is, did he reach the form and then Whis is like yeah he did and uh, yeah so Goku is in mastered ultra instinct and it looks cool Honestly, in Xenoverse 2, because the DLC came out recently with Ultra Instinct Goku, he looks really cool. And uh, in the anime, he actually looks uh, way cooler. I think he looks way cooler right now in the anime. It looks absolutely insane. Well, with the silver eyes that he already had, the silverish hair, he's shirtless, I guess. Um, next episode, we're actually going to see shirtless Goku mastered UI with... Ma I wasn't mastered, but um, shirtless Jiren uh, going pretty much all out from what we can tell from the subtitles that are in the Crunchyroll subs so far. That's the only version of the fight that I've seen. So I'm going off the Funimation, not the Funimation, the Crunchyroll subs, you know, just whatever. So the episode was good. It was fun to watch. I enjoyed it. But then again, there also was some stuff that I was like, ah, it's like slow in the beginning, but... You know, it was actually it was actually getting better towards the end, and that made sense in the last episode for 128 because we had, you know, development with characters with you know Vegeta and then Goku, so it made more sense to do it then, and it was done better. In this episode, it just felt like it just felt slow to be slow, and I didn't really like that. So the episode overall was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's above par. It's above. It's above average. But you know, it could have been a lot better in some in some circumstances. But either way, that's the end of the episode. I have nothing else really to add on top of other than, you know, we're not getting an episode next week. So don't be don't be on the lookout for super next week because we're going to be getting the, a new episode, which is episode one thirty, uh, on March eighteenth. And I think I might make another video, uh, on my birthday which is March 8th, which is this Thursday. I might, or I may not. Uh, I don't really, you know, celebrate my birthday anymore just because it just isn't my thing. But uh, I guess what I will add on top is, is that I am going to be watching or finishing up some anime. Um, I was watching the final chapters, stopped like like almost to the end or the beginning of the uh, Buhan versus Vegito fight. And I'm still watching final chapters just because I'm curious of like the dialogue changes and just how far, you know, the voice acting in these of these guys doing these characters has come by. So you know, it's whatever. After I'm done with that, I think I'm gonna watch Devilman Crybaby and make a video on that. 
um, maybe I'll have uh, maybe if I start watching Devil Man by tomorrow, I'll be able to have a video up and ready for this next Saturday, which is two days after my birthday. Maybe I'll have a video talking about it. Uh, hopefully, if I do start if I do start watching it by at least tomorrow. Uh, and then after I'm done with Devil Man, I am going to be watching My Hero Academia because uh, there are two seasons already done. Season three is coming up, and I can only really hear good things about My Hero Academia. So I feel like I need to start getting, you know, I, I feel like I need to start watching that. I also watched a live action adaptation for Full Metal Alchemist, and I might actually make a video on that as well. So. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see that, but either way, that's the end of the video. I have nothing else to add on top of. I hope you guys have a fantastic, beautiful life and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out of here. Peace out.